Hello students, today I am going to discuss properties at nanoscale. Now basically nanomaterials are characterized in three forms, categories. First is the one dimension which has only one parameter that is length or breadth or height. For example, the thin layers, thin films, coatings that we have over any surface that is done, that is characterized as one dimension nanomaterial. In case of two dimensions, we have only length and breadth. For example, in case of nanowires and nanotubes like carbon nanotubes, which has just two dimensions. In case of three dimensions, we have uh, all parameters, length, breadth and height. For example, nano shells, nano rings, etc. Now, coming to the nanoscale properties, as I have discussed in my introduction video to nanotechnology, the nanoscale properties are quite different as compared to those the property that the substance has in bulk for example the melting point now the nanoparticles exhibit generally exhibit lower melting point is corresponding to the melting point which they these metal exhibit in bulk so uh, this depends upon the size for example the bulk cool melts at 1064 degrees celsius whereas a 4 nm nanoparticle uh, melts roughly at 850 degrees celsius similarly in case of semiconductors for example silicon the band gap changes with size similarly the properties also changes so the band gap energy which is actually the difference between the energy of the valence band and the conduction band so uh, this depends upon the size and for example in case of silicon germanium gallium the, these band gaps <coughs> in the bulk form there are in range of 1.12 0.67 and 1.42 electron volts respectively but in case of nanoparticles this band gap increases uh, you can see the size is going down and the band gap energy is increasing and so they uh, for example a silicon nanowire with diameter of 1.3 nanometer it exhibit a wide band gap of 3.5 electron volts so an electron needs more energy to jump from the valence band to the conduction band and uh, in case of gold nanoparticles similar feature is observed so quantum properties also changes accordingly and uh, the difference in color that is observed in gold nanoparticles with sizes based on this factor only similarly the smooth metal surfaces the light is entirely reflected because of high density of electron and this is why uh, the metal slabs they have the mirror like uh, appearance in contrast these small particles they absorb light leading to the change in appearance of color and this property also depends on size so gold exhibit a different color depending upon the particle size extremely tiny particles have been used to color glasses since the very early days of glass making and ruby vases with color that is that is pink to blood red were made using finely dispersed gold particles for centuries so coming to the history of nanotechnology these are the cups they are stunning decorative roman treasure and uh, these glasses they change color why because they had the coating of gold and silver although uh, the artisans might not be knowing that they were unknowingly used nanoparticles but then the nanotechnology is not new and as you can see the two figures the glass look green because it reflected that light but when the light is passed from behind the car and you can see how it is giving a bl brilliant red color so this is nanotechnology in ancient history similarly uh, a corrosion resistant azure pigment which is known as maya blue is was used and uh, this is corrosion resistant pigment which gives 
the paint. This it is a complex material containing clay with nanopores into which indigo dye was combined chemically to create an environmentally stable pigment. So this these paintings were corrosion resistant and they did not lose their texture after with time. These are steel swords, Demarcus steel uh, steel swords, and they had the impressive strength and with shatter resistance an exceptionally sharp cutting edge and uh, these were again uh, coated with these type of nanoparticles this you can see the pottery uh, which has a metallic glaze luster because of the nanoparticles again <laughs> 